Welcome, Port Adelaide fans. We've got another edition of Renault Team Talk coming up. Let's go and see who we're interviewing. All right, Lobes, is it true that you told people that you were Prince Harry while you were overseas? Yes, I did, Gussie. I did use that a few times, that line. And, and how did it go for you? Not too well. No Not too luck. Well. No luck? No. The English accent wasn't too good? No, I worked on a little bit beforehand, but obviously didn't work hard enough. No, nah, very good. And uh, just one from Daniel Pilch, who's asked on Facebook, uh, who was your idol when you were a child? Um, Matty Richardson was my idol as a kid. He was my favourite and he's still my favourite commentator at the moment. And you were a Richmond supporter growing up? I was a big Richmond fan, yeah. Many games did you get to? Or? Oh, I'll try to get to, yeah, every home game. Yeah. Ah, very good. And uh, now it's common knowledge around the club that you live uh, with a few of the boys, um, Maury and Brody. Yeah. And uh, Tommy Jonas has thrown in and asked, is it true that you've trained Andrew Moore to do all the cooking and cleaning at home? Yes, I have actually. I've, we've lived together for about two years and I've probably cooked twice, so, so I've done all right with that arrangement, I think. You've trained him up nicely. I have, yeah. Every now and then I have to do the dishes, but yeah, I usually get meals and, cooked for me. And what are a couple of his signature dishes? Uh, he cooked a nice stir fry last night. That's probably his, his best one, his stir fry. Very good. All right, we've got another question from one of the boys, Darren Pfeiffer. He has asked, is it true that you eat two lunches and two dinners every day? <laughs> I do love to eat, but no, it's not true. I don't have that much money, so I can't afford two <laughs> every meal. But your portion sizes would be rather large, I yes, would guess. they're probably a bit larger than Darren's. Yes. And, and what are you weighing at the moment, Lopes? How big are we? Oh, I'm 99 kilos, so... So yeah, you still want to get a little bit more on me. Nearly at the time, nearly there. there. Very good. Boki's chimed in with another one here. Oh no. Is it true that you wear sunscreen at night in winter? No, that's not true, but some of the boys have joy that I have got burned from the lights. So. Well, I wouldn't argue with that. <laughs> and uh, I think it was maybe two or three weeks ago, there was a bit of sunshine out in uh, June and you've thrown the sunscreen on. Is there truth to that or not? There is truth, yes. Just I do get burned within about five minutes of sun. No, that's fair enough. Very sun smart, so to all the kids out there, slip, slop, slap. Um, ben Mitchell has asked on Facebook, who has your toughest opponent been in the ruck? Um, probably Nick Natanui, toughest opponent. I reckon he's got such a good leap, he's, he's really hard to get near. A very decent player, isn't he? he is. uh, Bobby Gullinan has asked on Facebook, "What do you guys do when you get a break?" Um, I enjoy going fishing. So uh, Matt Broadbent and myself own a boat, and we try and go uh, down to Victor Harbour when we can. We're not very good fishermen, as you know, but I um, enjoy doing that. And then, yeah, pretty much normal stuff: going to the movies, hanging out with mates. And um, Brody's had this boat for a couple of years. And how many times do you reckon you've actually used it? Ah. Uh, We've probably used it ten times. Ten times. Yeah, and we've had it for three years. Yeah, we we bagged out once. <laughs> what did you bag out on? Um, it was salmon. Salmon. Yeah. Ah, oh, very nice. Down the Coorong way. Yeah, down the Coorong. A couple of uh, yellow-eyed mullet down there, Mulloway. No, I didn't see any of them, mate. Didn't see any of them. Just the no. salmon. All right, very good. Evan Young has asked on Facebook, who is the biggest prankster in the team, and have you been pranked? I think that one's pretty obvious. That's Kane Corns. Yes. Um, but there is a big pile of dirt at my house at the moment in my driveway. It's been there for a month. I haven't moved it. Someone put it there when we were training and don't know who it was. Still don't know who it was. So, so you're still to hunt that one down? Yeah, but it's blocking the driveway still right now. Yeah. So we have to park on the road. All right, uh, Kane Pridham has asked, do you fit into a Renault Megane small car? I probably don't. I reckon I might fit into one of the big ones though if Renault want to give me one of them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind one of them either. So we'll see how we go, Lobes. All right, Lobes, you're a bit of a fan of uh, Game of Thrones. What have you thought of the third series? Are you happy with it? Yes, yeah, so I'm a massive fan of Game of Thrones. Uh, no, I haven't been um, very happy with it. I've read all the books, uh, and I thought the books were probably better in this, this third season. And uh, who would be your favourite character out of everyone? My favourite's the little imp. I reckon he's the best. I'd say Khaleesi's probably my favourite. Yeah, she's all right. But... She's not too bad. And uh, you, like you said, you've read all the books, uh, and you do tend to like spoiling it all for the boys. Yes, so, I do. Yes. So do you think you're going to continue doing that, or are you going to wait? I definitely will continue doing that. All right, he's very good at that. So thanks for joining us for Renault Team Talk. Um, thanks to Lowe's for, for joining us and uh, hope you'll have a great day.